As you can see, I'm using a minimap. That is because I have Fabric 1.20.6 in Minecraft. And in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly that, how to download and install Fabric 1.20.6. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step for downloading and installing Fabric is to click on the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Fabric. Now, if you want to read through the guide, go ahead and do so. However, if you just want to follow along, let's scroll down and click where it says Download Fabric Loader here. That redirects you to the Fabric page where you're going to click Download Universal Jar. As soon as you click in there, you will get the download to start. Go ahead and drag and drop that file to the desktop once it finishes downloading. And don't worry because the Fabric installer is completely safe to download. And since we're talking about something safe, let me tell you about Apex Hosting, today's sponsor. If you're looking for a safe Minecraft server, a server that is hosted online, you could choose between a Java and a Bedrock server. And like I said, you won't have to use your computer. You don't have to use your IP address because this server is hosted online. Well, then Apex Hosting is the perfect platform for you. They offer you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. and also so you could even add mod packs to your server. Like let's say you want to add a mod pack. You have more than 200 mod packs that you could use install with a click of a button and get the server set up in less than five minutes. Again, 25% off using the first link in the description. And let's keep going with the video. Now we just downloaded Fabric, but we're also going to go ahead and download the Fabric API. The Fabric API, it's a little mod that you add to your Fabric mods. And this mod will pretty much make a bunch of other mods work with Fabric. To download this mod, click on the third link in the description. Let's scroll down and click where it says download Fabric API here. I'll redirect you over here or you're going to click on files and now you're going to look for 1.20.6 as you can see we have it right here 1.20.6 go ahead and click on this little three dots and then click download file and after five seconds your download for the fabric api will begin and just like we did with the fabric installer we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the fabric api into our desktop let's go ahead and wait for this to finish and we should see it up here here if you're using chrome if you're using some other browser, then it shows somewhere else. Go ahead and drag and drop that Fabric API to your desktop, just like so. And now that we have the Fabric API and the Fabric installer, you can say that we are kind of ready to start. However, in the beginning of this video, you saw that I was using a minimap. That is because I downloaded a mod to test out Fabric. And if you want to test out Fabric, just like we did, let's go ahead and download a mod. In this case, we're going to download that minimap mod. However, if you already have mods that you want to use with Fabric, you could skip this next step and just go forward in the video. If you want to follow along, just click on the fourth link in the description, which is Saedos Minimap. Let's scroll down and click where it says Download Saedos Minimap. I'll redirect you over here. And again, you're going to look for Fabric 1.20.6, which as you can see, it's right here. It's super recent. And then you're going to click on these little three dots and you're going to click download file make sure you use the fabric version and not the forge or neoforge because there's different versions after five seconds your file will begin to download once you have saedos let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop and now we are kind of ready to start so the first thing that you want to do is separate your fabric api and your saedos minimap so i'm going to put that here to the little side and now we're going to go ahead and launch our fabric installer just make sure that you have your minecraft launcher as well as your minecraft game completely closed and then just go ahead and double click it that should open the fabric installer just like so however if your fabric installer doesn't open like mine did that is probably because you don't have either java 21 or you have an outdated version of java so you're gonna need to update to java 21 to have the new updates of minecraft work you're gonna need to update to java 21 if you want to install any mods for minecraft 1.20.6 this is something that happened after minecraft 1.20.5 where now it requires you to have java 21 to open jar files this is a jar file as you can see right here by the extension if you want to open the fabric installer you're gonna to have to install java 21 i'm gonna leave this guide in the description Okay, it's a super straightforward guide. It's gonna be the fifth link on how to download and install Java 21. Super simple to follow along. And once you install Java 21, you will be able to open these files. Some of you might open the Fabric installer and it might be a website or it might be a text document. That is because you don't have Java. And also keep in mind that after you install Java 21, you might have to go to add or remove programs in here and get rid of any older version of Java that you have. Just open up add or remove programs and look for your older versions of Java and just get rid of them. And then just use Java 21 to open the Fabric installer. I hope that wasn't too confusing but once you are in here in the same step as me just go ahead and select 1.20.6 and click on install and wait for fabric to install it should be super quick as you can see in here it's already installed let's go ahead and close the installer and let's go ahead and delete that file now we have the fabric api and the saedos minimap so the next step will be adding these mods into fabric the first thing that we're gonna do is open our minecraft launcher by just clicking on it wherever you have it and as you can see we have fabric loader 1.20.6 selected automatically that is because we installed it properly however in order for us to add the mods we're going to head over to installations right here on the top. Click on installations and then make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, without modded, you won't be able to see fabric in here. If for whatever reason you don't see fabric in here, you could always click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex Hosting, since they are the best hosting service out there. And then where it says version, go ahead and select fabric loader. Okay, 1.20.6 fabric loader and then click create. 
and they'll make an instance of fabric for you but most of you should see fabric like this and what you're going to do next to add the mods is hover over fabric click on this little folder that is in here and that will open a folder with a lot of files and in here you're looking for another folder called mods m o d s my mods folder is right here there is a big chance that you don't have this mods folder in here like i do so i'm gonna go ahead and delete mine and let's assume that you came over here and you didn't see the mods folder what do you do don't worry all you have to do is right click click on new and then click on folder and then just name this folder MODS mods, right? So just MODS, go ahead and open up that folder. It should be an empty folder now. And just go ahead and drag and drop those files that we downloaded earlier, the Fabric API and the Saeros minimap. However, if you are downloading other mods, just add those mods as well. Just make sure that they are Fabric and they are 1.20.6, so they do work with what we install, which is Fabric 1.20.6. Once you added the mods in here, go ahead and close this folder and then head back into your Minecraft launcher and you go ahead and click play next to the fabric loader. It might give you this little prompt. Just click that you understand and then click play again. Keep in mind that some mods that you download might require you to have extra mods downloaded for those mods to work properly. So every time you download a mod from the internet, just read through the description of that mod to see if that mod requires you to have any other extra mod. Now let's just wait for Fabric to load and I will actually see you once the game loads. And as you can see, the game has loaded and it says Fabric down here, it says 1.20.6 Fabric. Once we launch our world, we will see if we are actually in Fabric because we will see our mods working, right? We'll see. And as you can see, our Saeros minimap is working on the top left. It's just loading there. You could also play around with the settings of Saeros minimap if you press the letter Y on your keyboard. We'll open this little menu here where you could play around with the stuff. You could change the position of your minimap. You could just play around with it, right? Whatever you like. And that is pretty much how to download and install Fabric and how to add Fabric mods to Minecraft 1.20.6. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, bye bye.